Hey, good morning everybody and welcome to the vlog. I hope the start of your day is amazing. It's gonna be a good one because we have a really cool eclectic bunch of snakes that Lori ordered that's coming in that's gonna be an unboxing. Pretty cool, not ball pythons because I know we do a lot of ball python unboxing. So it's a bunch of really cool stuff. I cannot wait to get it going. So what do you say we hop into it, go get that package and do an unboxing really quick. Guess what guys, Lori bought me a present. It's not true. This is a present, right? This is snakes for me. Okay, the present is you get to open it. No, but are there any, seriously, these aren't ball pythons. No, they're not. They are something, I don't know what you ordered. You told me you ordered it. Uh, and I, did. I was excited that you ordered it. I did, I ordered for customers, not for you. Uh, I think that there's is stuff that, but there's gonna be some stuff I get to keep, right? Like if I go through and okay. like stuff, no, can I keep that's it? That's not how it goes. Oh, I already have, doggy. I have some stuff, doggy. These are some nice keep. snakes, Lori. No, I'm just saying okay. that. Uh, so closure these are nice. eyes here, I'll just show you. I see Let something me... right now that I did get to keep. Uh, okay, was it this one? No. So, oh, these are so dope. Yes. Take a look at these. These are actually Applegate Gopher snakes. It's one of my favorite albino colubrids for sure. I mean, these things are cool. How many did you get? Um, I got two pair. Two pair to keep. Oh, we got more than two pair? Yes, I have a few for sale too. So why don't we keep those two and then we'd have more than two pair. So that'd be really good. So we'll keep a bunch of these back, which will be awesome. So. Uh, but these are really cool. Again, a gopher snake. They call them Applegate albinos because Rob Applegate is the one that produced the first ones. They have a lot of tons of white. Just really beautiful. As these get bigger, they get better and better and better. So I am excited that you got me those. And I'm really excited that you got me some more 50-50 Cal Kings too. Like, uh, look at this one here. This one's definitely one I'm going to want to keep. I can already tell. I've been saying this for the whole year that I think that like the next big phase is going to be, you know how like Mexican Black Kings became like the, all the rage, everyone wanted Mexican Black Kings. I just think that is the perfect, I mean just you know black and white, the contrast, yeah. the color, I mean that thing is the incredible. The real white ones are nice. It really, yeah. it just depends on what the sex is and what we already have, what we keep I know, but I think we should definitely keep some of those. Is this just normal or is this a 50-50 50-50. Okay, so this is just a little bit more black on this one. You can see it's still a 50-50 calking, but it's more like a, a 30-70 calking, if you ask me to be totally honest with you. And then uh, again, these are all de what cool. they call desert face. Oh, those are nice. Of course, those are going like to be some keepers too. Well, it's really too. more aberrant, but because it's not a perfect stripe, but... Yeah, the striped the calking. So these are all the same. Like you've got the 50-50, you've got the aberrant, you've got the stripe, all these. And these are what, they again, they would call desert phase, uh, whereas the coastal phase are brown and yellow, the desert phase are the black and white, which is really cool. Then we have some beautiful, beautiful yep. orange therai. Therai. This, this is really cool, of course. And these, these are, are called variable kings because yeah. they're so variable. They are variable. So these at, two are the same. They could but, be from the same clutch. Yep. Which is crazy. This is, uh, they call these Nuevo Leonis milk snakes, and this would be called a milk snake phase, and then typically they call these the buckskin phase because they used to be like a yellowish buckskin color, but now they're getting them really orange and, and stuff like that. Can, so, yeah. yeah, but that's really cool. So these are beautiful. So good job so far. I lost the lid. Ah, there it is. <laughs> Can't do it's anything. so hard to, to see. Here you I, go. I'm excited. Some albino. Ooh, those are really yeah. nice. This is uh, so these are some albino calkins. What what are these exactly? Because these are albino gorgeous. Albino calkins. No, but would they just consider <laughs> uh, a barrent? Is that what they would consider? Because that thing is dope. We yeah. should keep this one for sure. Look at how cool that is. <laughs> We're not keeping them all. No, not all of them, but this one for sure. Mm -hmm. Should probably keep that one. And then, uh, gosh, there's so much great stuff in here. It's been a while since, you know, we don't, uh, we really never get large colubrid shipments, yeah. right? I mean, because there's just not a lot of colubrids available to buy in large quantities. So uh, I'm kind of surprised that you were able to find another one that's really that's cool. That's why I bought them. Cause so I this is the more typical, though, apparent, you know, coastal albino cal king. Whereas the other one was really cool. And I like that one. Gosh, I love it. Got some corn snakes here. What do yeah, we got just here? just a few. There's some different An tisseros, Aneuristic tisera yep. corn. So this is an anthracic to Sarah corn. It's interesting because it doesn't have a lot of pattern in the side. So it's uh, it's kind of a really clean, beautiful to Sarah for sure. Looks like we've got a little black motley corn over here. So these are really cool. I love motley corns. And of course this is black, but we produce some of the scaleless Anry motley corns this year. So this is the one that has scale. So, and these all look good. They look like they've gotten a couple meals and stuff like that, which is really good. So I got a, a decent number of these and we haven't worked with these in a while. We used to produce a lot of Sinaloans, them, but yep. we kind of got out of them. But wow, yeah, Sinaloan milk snakes. 
Yeah, so the difference is you might notice, like, yeah, you might notice that when we hatch the Nelson's milk snake, they look really similar. And basically the difference is between the Nelson's and the Sinaloans is the tri account or the amount of bands. Yep. I believe it's less than 13 bands, Sinaloan country, more than 13 bands, Nelson's country. And they come from just different localities, right? So, uh, but that's how you can kind of tell them apart typically is the amount of bands that they have. So, gosh, more Thera. I got these guys too. Ooh, some more hypoplevlins. Some are for sale, but I also needed um, a couple more males for our group, so. Yeah, that's awesome. So we're gonna just keep them all then. So there won't be any for sale of those. Let's see what else we got. Ooh, hypotocera. This is a beautiful little hypotocera corn snake right here. That's really nice. I always like the way the hypocorns go with That's the Saracorn. Really nice. <laughs> What's that? That's really nice. It is like, really nice. <laughs> that is beautiful, isn't it? Oh, it's really nice. <laughs> it's beautiful. It is really a beautiful snake. So this, this is cool. Again, yeah. it's very rare. I, I can't remember the last time that we were able to actually unbox a big shipment of colubrids. It's probably been at least five years since we've had a yeah. big shipment of colubrids. Mm -hmm. So this is exciting. What else? Anything else exciting in here? Um, I mean, it's all beautiful. Yeah, Ooh. I think just some more. Ooh, look at that stripes, black and white yeah. Kelly. Whoa! Some stripes in that it. is a beautiful snake right there. Wow! Look at that. That's a striped calking, but it's got a lot of white in the sides. Wow, that would be a really nice one. When this is a year old, we're gonna you're gonna really like this one when we put that on the shelf and raise it up for a year. Alright. So when do I get a chance to go through and mark the ones I want to keep? Mm, Can I please? No. So I want to tell you a quick story, <laughs> a little story time with the bar checks, if you don't mind. <laughs> All right, what's the story? Story time goes that we produce these really cool pythons. They were called Sabu pythons. You guys might remember them. Well, I put them on the shelf and I was like, I'm gonna raise all these Sabu pythons up because they were really dope. We only have a pair of adults. We need. produced 11 babies. And I thought, well, I'm gonna sex them out. I'm gonna keep a big group because they're so cool. Went downstairs yesterday and was like, why is there only one Sabu? Where'd you put the rest? I thought maybe she moved them into a different rack. What happened, Lori? Oh, I sold them. You probably know, because some of you probably got them. Yeah, thanks, guys. Thanks for they everyone never, that bought those they, for my, my snake. Thank you. No, you didn't have any notes on them, which I would have I told you I wanted to keep them all. She you sold my Sabu pythons. She sold all of them. We have so when do I get a chance to keep? Need. No, no, we don't. We need more. When do I get a chance to say what I want to keep Stay out of here? Stay in your own lane, okay? This isn't your lane. You don't do anything with colubrids. You don't know what's I do. going I on. I hatch all the colubrids. I don't pull you all don't. the eggs. Yeah, exactly. You take without the fun. Me, you take the fun me, part. Without me, there would be no colubrids. Really? No. Without me, there would be no colubrids because you'd have no eggs to pull. <laughs> you can't run fast. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm always excited to team up with things that I think that you guys are going to love. Teamed up this time with Fubo TV, which is the first sports focused streaming service that has all of the top leagues and teams in it, as well as TV, news, and movies for your whole household with thousands of on demand titles that can stream to your TV, your phone, your tablet, your computer, and any smart device. And since sports have been back, it's been pretty exciting. I mean, obviously, the NBA Finals just wrapped up. We had the NHL. Noah is a huge huge soccer guy so he is always watching soccer stuff so it's really cool that we have a streaming device that can watch all those things without having to search around for them all on one thing and believe it or not you can actually record those live events and then watch them back later on your TV your smartphone or whatever the case may be it's just super convenient if you happen to miss it I'm a pretty busy person so if I want to catch a game I'm not gonna catch it live you can record it right to their cloud DVR and you guys know that I am a movie buff so I'm always looking for the next newest cool this title. I watch movies more than anything else. And if you're into like TV, there's tons of TV shows as well. Even the news you can catch on it. It's just uh, all in one place that you can find everything. And guess what guys? It's about half the price as cable. So you save a ton of money. And now you can actually sign up for a seven day free trial and go to the URL fubotv.com slash Brian B and save 15% off your first month. That's right. Going to fubotv.com slash Brian B and save 15% percent off your first month and get seven days for free you can try it out and cancel at any time and the best part is it literally takes like 
two minutes to sign up and start streaming all your favorite TV shows and favorite titles and no cable box required. Sign up for a risk-free seven-day trial of Fubo TV and get 15% off your first month by going to FuboTV.com slash Brian B. That's right, going to FuboTV.com slash Brian B and save 15% off your first month. And as always, I appreciate you guys supporting the companies that support this vlog. Tell you what, those are some awesome snakes. Now I gotta just convince Lori to allow me to keep a bunch of them if you know what I mean. But speaking of unboxing, today we're supposed to get a super special package, man. I tell you what, I was really, really excited about it. Kind of an emotional journey. I'll tell you more about that. But unfortunately, the package got stuck in Indianapolis. It happens. We ship a lot. Everything's going to be fine. I'm sure it's going to be no problem. And you'll find out more about that tomorrow. Trust me, it's going to be a crazy one. And uh, it's definitely going to be an emotional ride for me. So uh, definitely tune in tomorrow and you'll find out what was supposed to be here today. I'm going to have to do a vlog one day just on all the ball pythons I'm keeping this year to kind of get you guys up to date. But uh, some of them are really incredible. This happens to be a banana. Banana Cine Lori ball python right here. Unbelievable. The banana and Cine stuff is always great. Then you add that Lori, it just changes the entire color of the animal. Makes it really interesting. I mean, it's definitely really super bizarre. Again, I didn't expect the Lori to kind of do that to the banana stuff. And then when you add it to the cinnamon together, oh my gosh, this thing is so cool. Again, this is a boy, so we've got two of these that we're gonna be raising up and breeding them. Who knows what we'll breed them into, but it's gonna be pretty amazing. Maybe we breed it into that Lori leopard to get a banana super Lori leopard Cine. Oh my gosh, could you imagine what that would look like? And here's another ripper of a Lori project here. It's a relatively similar mutation than what I just saw you. The only difference is, is it added pinstripe to it. So it's a banana, it's a Cine, it's a Lori, and it's a pinstripe. So basically the exact genetics is the other one just added with the pinstripe. And again, it just makes it look completely different. The purples, the oranges coming through, unbelievable. And again, this female that produced this was a super Lori pinstripe. So I know everything in the clutch have to be a lorry ball python so there's no like guessing like I think it might be a lorry might not be a lorry because it's an incomplete dominant and this is a super version of it we know every single baby in the clutch has to be lorry so that really makes this a powerhouse animal and you guys know that the lorry project is something that I've been talking about I think is going to be really big in the future I really messed up and I should have been working on this 10 years ago because I've had the project for like 15 years but now I am gung-ho and the results are just absolutely phenomenal and what the heck, just because I'm talking about Super Lori and Lori projects, I've always got to show my Super Lori leopard ball pythons, right? We actually had three of these this year. They're coming up. They're looking absolutely gorgeous. I mean, what a cool animal. I know I've showed you guys before, but I'm like, hey, if I'm going to talk about Lori ball pythons, I know you'd be disappointed if I didn't show you the Super Lori leopard. So what's going on? Back at it again with my boy Chicken Strip here with you guys. So um, I, I actually wanted to give you guys a little bit of a pretty, pretty typical scenario that I got to tell you, it happens more times than I'd like to admit. Let's just say you guys are walking through like a reptile show and then all of a sudden you see them you see that little cute little lizard face looking up you giving that side eye like what are you doing why are you looking at me and you just immediately go I'm in love I I've got to have this animal that's pretty much 90% of the people that get these animals it's an inexpensive animal not chicken stricker obviously but uh but like a typical Nile monitor or an ornate monitor is uh, is pretty, pretty inexpensive, especially because the import costs pretty much practically nothing. They're awesome animals, they're beautiful animals, but before you know it, a guy like Chicken Strip, only this big, gets it to the big proportions of this girl right here is. So I want, you, I want you guys to notice, see that long, long, fast tongue movement right there that she's doing, exhibiting? So this is actually a great, great, great point here. So this is where I actually started noticing, okay, this is truly a food response here. This is an animal that's hungry, just wants a good bit of food right now, doesn't really care about anything else right now. So what I would always do, instead of touching her with my hands, I would actually use my snake hook. And I would sit there and I would rub her on the back and you see, you see she's starting to look other way, other places now. She's looking around like, all right, you know, I don't, this, this isn't what I want right now. So now I can sit there and now I can actually touch her. And it got to the point actually where I would never even have to touch her with it. I'd just show it to her. That's when Brian and I started to actually really brainstorm like, hey, maybe we could do the same thing we're doing with Elvis with her. So I do want to emphasize here, guys, that I don't I don't want to tell you guys don't go out and get a monitor or anything like that, but do your research. Don't just get into an animal like this. You want you want their lives to be just as happy as your life at your home. And and enjoy the animal when you can, man. Like these guys, these guys are incredible intelligent creatures. Again, a really cool unboxing. I 
love getting new snakes and tomorrow we've got that really special animal so definitely tune in you're going to want to check that one out if you enjoyed the unboxing here's a playlist right over here of a ton of unboxing snakes up in this corner right here you can do me a favor subscribe to my podcast channel hopefully you're subscribed to this vlog channel right over here if you aren't please do that turn your post notifications on have an absolutely wonderful day remember be kind to someone and i promise i'll see you tomorrow